Hey folks and welcome to part 2 of the Steven Universe Attack the Light playthrough. And I know in the previous parts I've been saying Attack of the Light. I don't know, it just sounded better, but it's Attack the Light. Anyway, um, folks, in the last part we pretty much got acquainted with the game and what the game had to offer. And now we're getting into the aspects of puzzles. As of it, as of it, any um, RPG games, uh, well, most of them require you to do puzzles. And we're getting introduced to the first uh, concept of what is a puzzle right now. But basically, um, what we need to do, and this will come later down the road, but we just need to collect um, gems, uh, gemstones to put into um, the slots here. as Or as Steven put, put thingies in the slot. So <laughs> we'll be able to do that soon enough. Um, we'll have to find them as Garnet stated. Won't be that hard. And this is a secret area right here. Um, I think this is the first within the game. So um, this is required in order to beat 100. In order to get 100% in this game, or even in the area, you have to find all the secrets that is in one area. Some of them a little challenging than others, um, and right here we have our, uh, we have a badge. Uh, I don't remember if I explained the concept of badges in the first part because, um, that was a while ago upon recording what I'm recording now. It's been at least two weeks, uh, since I've recorded anything for this game. I know that's been a long time, but it's just been, um... It's been hectic, uh, my recording schedule and the you know, stuff I'm recording, um, because this will make the third playthrough that's in conjunction with the other two playthroughs that I have going up on the channel now. I don't know why, I just felt a reason for me to not only record, you know, those games I got, but to put something else on there to make it run smoothly. So, when those playthroughs run out, I'll still have something on the channel for you folks, so you won't be having to wait another six months in order for me to upload something so that's what I'm doing it it's a little taxing but you know in the end I think it's all worth it but um yeah I never would have thought I would get the opportunity to record this game uh you folks may or may not know but um I am a Steven Universe fan I'm kind of sad to see the show go but it had a good run uh, it really did um I just got into the show way later than, you know, what I was supposed to get into, so I'm glad I was able to um, catch the show when it was wrapping up around its second season. Um, I was able to pretty much continue from that and then watch from, you know, the second season onward when they were producing episodes not weekly or whatever but they was they wasn't producing them fast enough um because they kind of slowed up on quality production or whatnot and i know it takes um animation a long time to do but um yeah it, it takes animation a while folks um from what i hear too it takes anywhere from like six months to a year to produce one episode i guess it depends on how the animation is but um Right here, this badge is you can gain uh, XP 15% faster. That may not seem like much, but it really is, especially when you're grinding in the first um, beginning of the game. But it's all good. Um, I was just the reason why I went back there is to see if there was a secret room. But yeah, you need to discover all these secrets in order to get 100% within the area. But now that we have all of the indigo stones, the indigo gemstones. We can go ahead and unlock the door, but not, um, uh, not in, unless countering some enemies first. You only have, like, I notice in RPGs, whenever you collect something that's plot wise, you always have some enemy to fight. But yeah, with this, um, in most RPGs, I focus on health and attack. Um, I figure those are the two most important things that. In, in my opinion, you know, some people might go for defense or whatnot, but me, it's always either if I'm not going for attack, I'm going for health because, you know, the more health you got, the more better. And I know there's, um, I know I'm talking all over the place, but I know there's some people that, um, this is going to come intact later. This door is best stones. Uh, we won't be able to find none in this area, but we'll be able to find some in the next area because this game does have, um, 
what is it, enemy dungeons or uh, gauntlets? Yeah, there we go, gauntlets. This game does have gauntlets, well, I will be showing off for you folks, so don't worry about that. We just gotta come back later when we get uh, the necessary gemstone. But anyway, folks, um, yeah, uh, what I was gonna say, um, I see this is what gets me confused. I talk about something and then I forgot what I talk about. Okay, now I remember what I was talking about. Um, I know some people prioritize like defense over health or attack over health. There's a Paper Mario um, run where you can do just like um, badges. Like you get your your health, you can never upgrade your health because I think your base health is like five. But you can have it to where you equip a whole bunch of flower power. I think that's what it's called in the game where you can equip badges and you could just do it that way. You have to make sure you don't get hit, but your badges, you know, more than compensate for that. And I could never do that run. It'd be interesting, but I don't think I see myself doing that run because I, you know, prioritize health over anything. But um, in that game, I try to keep it balanced, you know, with health, defense, all that other stuff in that game because it makes it, you know, it makes it more fun for me that way. But here we go. We got our first boss in the game. It's really not that hard, folks. Um, just watch out for the lasers that it has um, prepared right now. I figured the best um, gem to use for this is Amethyst. And she can strike multiple objects with her whip. So, you know, I figure it's best to, um, as I'm doing right now, the strategy you see me doing, um, it's pretty much best to use her when, as far as um, with this boss because you'll be able to get multi hits in and then you use garnet you know to bring on power or whatever if you need to do but defending is easy um not when it comes to this boss though i don't think there's any way to defend from that because it doesn't really give you the star option to do it but since this um since this boss doesn't do um you know that much damage to your character even though it's the beginning of the game um, you can find ways to counter attack and all that good stuff, but as you can see right now what I'm doing pretty much works for me, so I'm just gonna keep it that way and whatnot. And I see I just got rid of um the laser that it had, you know, it doesn't take much to get rid of it. You don't you know, you just gotta make sure that you attack it in time if you can. But um anyway, speaking of Paper Mario, I don't know if I uh talked on this or not. Um, I told you folks that I'm going to be covering the Paper Mario series with the co-host hopefully covering the last two. So I'm going to be covering the first two and hopefully he'll agree to cover the last two. Um, I'm, folks, I haven't been ignoring the co-host. I just can't think of a game that we can do um, if it's not a beat-em-up or adventure style game. Um, we was thinking about, and I think I covered this in the last part as well, we was going to do an X-Men game, but I don't know, we have to see. With with the um, current laptop I got, I can't record, um, I can't use my old soft, softing um, program to uh, use on this laptop. It's not compatible because I don't have a CD drive to install the program with so I have to use my old laptop which I deleted everything off of so we can use that to just record stuff I have to get a cord for my for my recorder my USB mic um, which won't be that hard to get all I have to do is order it and I'll be I'll have it in a few so I just have to think of the um, the game that we're going to play so that'll be soon but anyway folks um yeah when you see uh the enemy kind of dimming like that that means their health is low so um you can tell by the bar right there obviously but um just in case if you need an extra indicator that lets you know right there that you know few hits on this guy um and he'll be defeated like i said this boss isn't that hard um yeah that's gonna do it for him this yeah when um uh, whenever a gym is defeated they retract into their gym, like I stated in the um, in the first part. You're seeing a demonstration right there. Um, I just didn't have enough defense offers for uh, Amethyst, but with that, we were able to defeat the first boss and transfer it into the prism. And with that, uh, the remaining characters level up. Uh, Steven, Steven doesn't have much when it comes to um, leveling him up. All he has is like encourage. You can escape with him if you needed to, if you run into an unnecessary boss that you don't want to fight, 
or an unnecessary cur uh, character that you don't want to fight, you have the choice to run. As in, uh, in all RPG games, he can give boost stats to other gyms. Steven is just there for support, you know. And he's a good support too, so, you know, use him, um, you know, whenever. Uh, because he's going to come in handy. If you just attack with the gyms, you're going to have a hard time. So, you know, just use Steven. He's there. He's a game playing mechanic. I don't see any, anything wrong with using this guy. But, you know, the way they... Um, the way they 100% uh, unlock uh, a gauntlet stage. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, the way they used him, I figured he could have attacked more. You know, didn't he have his shield? Because I think this this may take place between um, just season one. Because I don't see any other extra abilities that the gym have at this point. So, you know, um, I don't remember. Steven had his uses. Like... I think the whole, like, season one of the show was just, like, you know, getting to know the characters and mostly just joking around and stuff, but I think at the start of season two, things start getting serious. This is my, this is my opinion, folks, um, with what I thought of the show, you know, Steven didn't really have any attacks, so I guess that's why they're using him like this within this game, folks, but, yeah, um, like I stated before, every new enemy... You know, I'm going to show them off. If it's an enemy that we fought for, I'm not going to show them off. And so what. But now we're at the, um... This, this game right here is a little brighter than me in the uh, dungeon, so I like it more. This is the Strawberry Battlefield. This is where the Gym Wars took place. According to Pearl, or what Pearl uh, stated, that this is where the wars took place at. And, of course, it looks like just an ordinary field with, which, well, strawberries. That's why it's called Strawberry Battlefield. Um, right now, I'm just trying to see what badges I can equip with uh, who, because um, these badges really do, you know, helpful. They, they really are helpful, and later down the road, we'll be getting even more um, badges to mess around and play with um if you get this game folks you know you can mess with badges you know decide what badges you want to pick with what you can also check the status of your characters too and see you know what status you want to boost up when you level up so that's all good options right here it's it's such a cheap game but yet it gives you so many options to mess around with so um yeah, and every now and then you'll get character banters with each other, so that's always nice within a, um, you know, RPG as well, so, right here we have a group of these guys, but we're not gonna show them off, because as I stated before, we've already seen these guys and what they can do, and it's always nice to have, uh, at least one or two characters to level up after a battle, so, you know, you can decide what goes with what. I do mess around with, um, luck a bit. Because, you know, you can get lucky strikes in this game and that always helps out, especially when you're dealing with a boss, you know, always getting those lucky or critical hits, as some game call them. Um, I think it's it. I think they bring, eventually branch out into their own stuff in like video games and whatnot. But here's the secret area. As I stated before, I'm always, if you're always noticing the screen shaking, that's me looking for a secret area because it's not always obvious you know as it was just there so i just go and check them out so if that ignores you i do want to apologize for that i'm just trying to do the best what i can and this guy right here this guy is annoying uh boss wise because the first time i fought this guy uh not the enemy that he has right now but you're gonna see later down the road why this guy is um aggravating but right now we're gonna be fighting a um copy of pearl which isn't really all that hard folks um fighting um we're gonna be fighting copies of all of the main crystal gems um in this game anyway which is garnet amethyst and pearl but it's not gonna be that hard long as you lower the character's defense first because if you don't lower that defense first you're gonna find yourself you know being killed off before you do anything you know in order to defeat this character so yeah it plays just like pearl if you know pearl's moveset um at the beginning of the game you you're gonna get a fail for it so you know as long as you block your strikes on time and pretty much doing what i'm doing i'm already got it already i already have a uh, copy pearl at half health um 
yeah, I, I'm already down with Garner, but don't. It doesn't matter. I can always heal, uh, heal her up uh, with Steven. Uh, does cost some star points, but in the end, I'm trying to lower her defense more, but I kind of screwed the pooch with that. That attack right there with lowering the defense with the meter, um, you can't really screw it up. I mean, you can. Um, just try to get it into the red, because not only will you lower the defense, you will also will attack with it as well. If you don't do it, you'll just lower their defense. So, you know, you kind of, if you get it right, you kind of kill two birds with one stone. But, yeah, um, the reason why it didn't look like I was blocking was because I, you, everything is timed. You have to time your blocks, you have to time your attacks. And if you don't do it right, then you end up taking damage, which kind of sucks because, the, well, it, the same thing applies with, um, you know, Paper Mario, but um, doing it on a touchscreen is a little more challenging than doing it on a controller for folks, believe you me. So, <laughs> you know, it's all, it's all based on, I guess, what you're planning on. But, you know what, um, this helps, um, this pearl's almost finished, all it takes is a couple more strikes and that'll be it. Matter of fact, this out a little trick right here, and there we go. We get a together breakfast item for uh, our troubles. That item is useful, by the way, the together breakfast. Never pass up on it, um, because it heals everybody within the party, so, you know. Um, yeah, she's right. If only how right I knew who she was when I first played the game, because when I first played it, I thought that was it. You know, just fight that thing once because I saw it running off, but fight that thing once and that's it. It's done. But anyway, uh, folks, we got a green key so we can move on to the next area, but won't be showing that next area off in this part, folks. This area right here. Um, and we're going to get to it in the next part, folks. So if all it does is take you to the end, but we're going to continue with this game in the next part, folks. So you folks have a fantastic day. Take care. And I'll be seeing you soon. See ya.